dollars are going into a new public safety building and district court facility in Lansing, giving them a shared space where they can work to better protect the community. Good evening, I'm David Andrews. And I'm Ann Emmerich. This morning, city officials broke ground on the project. And if you take a look at your screen right now, you're looking at a map of where the new public safety building will soon go up in the city of Lansing. That new facility will be located right behind the city's South Washington complex. News 10's Amaya Kuznicki talked with first responders and people who live nearby about this new addition to the neighborhood. It may not look like much now, but soon this vacant parking lot is going to become Lansing's new public safety complex. It's been a long time coming. Uh, we, we have been trying to get a new building, new facility for uh, more than 25 years. And the time is finally here. Back in November of 2022, Lansing voters approved $175 million in bonds to fund the project. We are going to ensure that we are worthy of your support, that we are worthy of your confidence as we continue to strive for world-class customer service in this community. <laughs> Thank you. Lansing Police Chief Ellery Sosby says current facilities are old and outdated and workers deal with problems on a daily basis. Water issues, uh, mold, animals, we have infestations of bees, bats. Sosby and others like Judge Stacia Buchanan agree that a new building will allow them to focus solely on public safety. They have been making do for so long and they won't have to just make do any longer. The new building will be located right in the center of the city, across the street from Kate Dowds' neighborhood. I used to live in neighborhoods where you could leave your, your doors open and uh, you didn't really have to worry about it, but in this particular neighborhood, I never leave without locking my doors and making sure they're locked at night. While she says the new building will provide a sense of safety in the community, she's concerned about the noise. The noise factor will be something for us to have to live with, with the sirens, which we hear often anyway, but they're a little more distant. Even with a few more sirens than usual, she says it's still an exciting day for the community. There's just a lot of great people in this neighborhood, and so it's a very nice neighborhood to keep up. In Lansing, Amaya Kuznicki, News 10. Today's groundbreaking came on National First Responders Day, recognizing their dedication and hard work and celebrating a new place where they can serve their community. The new Lansing Public Safety Facility is expected to open by the end of 2025, or early 2026. A warm southerly breeze keeping mid-Michigan warm again today. 